solicitor's report. I have nothing to. I have nothing for the public this evening. I just want to congratulate the council president on his reappointment and look forward to uh, working together for another year. Thanks. Thank you. Administration. Uh, the only thing I, well, one thing I'd like to say is in 1952 we were all introduced to uh, entertaining uh, Charlie Brown and Lucy. This day in history. So uh, let's hope that uh, this year is a good year, and I think we have a lot of good things coming up ahead of us uh, from just some of the last meetings I had recently and some of the ones I know are coming up in the next week or two. should prove interesting uh, to report to council, and let's hope that Lucy never pulls the football out from under us. We can kick it forward this year. So other than that, I really don't have anything uh, unless council has any questions. Guess not. Mm -hmm. Council members, anyone uh, like I to go first? Okay. Let me jump on it if before I can, you Jason. Add, you know what? Why don't you add that? Yeah. Why don't you, before you go to council members, I was suggesting you needed to add that closed session uh -huh. resolution uh -huh. back onto the agenda, and then we could do it right in, with going to, into executive session at yeah. the end of the meeting. Yeah, we almost. Thanks, Andy. Before you start talking. Okay. Uh, can I ask Andy a question, Jason, please? I know we passed him. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Andy, I have a question. To, tonight we um, approved... Uh, uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Dave, for that. He's so excited about this. My nephew um, uh, is has been uh, appointed to the zoning board. Sh should I have abstained on that, or that's okay? Before we close out, I can resend if I should have. Um, well, Nobody knew that, I, I don't think that relationship in of itself would preclude you from voting on it. It would just depend on whether you felt that, um, given your relationship with your nephew, that you couldn't be impartial about the appointment. Oh. <laughs> so I don't think it's a legal disqualification Thanks. by itself. I wanted to make sure. Okay, be before we move on to uh, Thanks, council Jason. members' comments, um, I'd entertain a motion to add closed session resolution number 30, resolution number 35-2016 uh, for the purpose of Browns Mills Emergency Squad litiga litigation. This was requested by Mr. Uh, Tompkins. I'll make that motion. I'm sorry, I'm vegging. I'll, I'll second the motion. Uh, Amy, please call the council. Mr. Tompkins? Yes. Ms. Trueblood? Yes. Ms. Stinney? Yes. Ms. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. I would do all this thing. Council member comments? Andy, just say it right at the end. Okay. Council members' comments? Okay. Did you go? Can I start? Oh, you, hmm? Mr. Mayor, you did ask something for questions, and I figured I'd throw it in this part. Uh, PL Fire, any information on that building yet? Yes, uh, I. we're looking at two options, one in refurbishing the building and what it would cost, and we've, uh, we've got some preliminary numbers uh, for replacing the roof alone, uh, and I have Public Works working on... Uh, Mind you, that would that's subject to go out to bid. That number is just a, an estimate that we received, which would give us a ballpark, and that would have to go out to bid. But we're also having Public Works uh, value uh, doing the repairs inside uh, if we went with the roof option. I also reached out to another company and got an option uh, to replace the building, and uh, I have Public Works working on an estimate uh, to uh, what it would cost to do the interior of the building ourselves if we had the exterior uh, built. And then we'll compare those two and see what what the best course would be uh, to go. But I, I should have, well, they will have me a, uh, uh, a draft uh, mock-up of uh, the layout tomorrow so that we can approve the layout uh, uh, so that they can go forward uh, in design or cost uh, 
costing out all the material that it would take to do the interior of the buildings. And there was another question I had. I, I forgot all about it. I know we put out a bid for the reevaluation. Have we selected any company to do that yet, or are we still in the we've met with uh, we've met with some of the responders uh, that we felt were responsible, and we've uh, basically asked them to go back and sharpen their pencils a little bit. But there, uh, uh, we should have something for you by the next meeting. Yeah, it was just I know we did it about a month ago. I was right. curious about it. Um, I did uh, meet with Mr. Gonzalez for uh, our field trip to the locker room at the police department. That was their words, not mine. Um, th there are two locker rooms. Uh, they do have lockers. Uh, my feeling is it's a nice facility that can't be utilized. Um, there's one room that could be used for the females. Uh, there's approximately 10 lockers in there. There is uh, restroom facilities or our showers. Um, the male locker room is about the same, 10 lockers. Uh, so we have a total of about 20 lockers for 40 officers that are on our police force. But per current policy is, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't want to misstate anything, uh, the officers cannot be on the premises uh, more than seven minutes before their shift. Uh, these folks wear combat style boots, uh, it takes me seven minutes to put on a pair of shoes, uh, th those kind of boots. Uh, so there's no way they'd have enough time to utilize that locker to change your clothes or anything before shift. Uh, the other thing that was told to me was uh, they're not allowed to keep any materials in those lockers overnight or after their shift, um, which is just a waste if you ask me. But uh, current policy prevents our police department to fully utilize these. Uh, locker rooms, and uh, in my opinion, that's a shame. Um, I also am still looking, maybe council uh, can uh, weigh in on this, a town hall meeting on a Saturday afternoon. I'd really like to get that started as soon as possible. Uh, just to kind of hear what the public has to say, instead of just looking at me, wondering where I'm coming from, I'd like to know where they're coming from. Uh, and I'd like to pick Saturday, hopefully sometime this month, if we could get a uh, consensus. It's awful quiet. That's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, Ms. Jackson? Sure. I have nothing. I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone. Congratulations uh, again, Jason. And um, thank you for everyone coming out and for everyone to have a safe trip home. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Council President, and thank you for allowing me to jump in there. Um, I done got to a point now, some of the things I remember, some of the things I don't. I don't know if it's because I'm looking out there at the public and they're saying, okay, Ms. Stinney, what you have to say. But, Mr. Mayor, you and I have been having uh, conversations for a good year or more about um, homes and uh, veterans in uh, Pemberton Township. And um, I've been talking to some, some uh, leadership uh, that visit uh, Washington uh, quite often. I have the names, and I'll share them with you when I make the appointment with you. Um, What's today, Wednesday? Next week, I'm going to have to do it. Um, but I do have this, and I'm giving this to Amy. Amy, would you see that our mayor gets a copy of that? And if any of the council members would like to see that, you can. It talks about um, the Coalition for Homeless Veterans also, and um, here we are, because that's a big issue here. And then um, they perhaps the funding in there for um, Habitat for, for Human Humanity, we might be able to get a, a few houses here in Pemberton Township um, under that program and um, help some of those veterans out. We're actually working with Habitat for Humanity now and okay. bringing a project here at, to Pemberton. Okay, good, good, good. So I'll just leave that there with you, so that's good. Um, I have nothing else to say. Thank you very much. Thank you for your many prayers and your well wishes while I was in the hospital again. Um, but uh, it's all good. And uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, when I go in, when I come out, I just meet so many people. Maybe that was set to be. So with that, Happy New Year's to everyone. Jason, I am always so proud of you. I always like to reach over my shoulder and bring some people over, young folks over. Um, they have a lot of knowledge. 
um, uh, they can do a lot of more things than I can do. Terry can talk. We talked uh, a couple weeks ago all the years that I served on the school board. Um, you have to bring others over um, to share their ideas. My ideas may be old and um, you may have already done some of the things that I'm talking about, but you really do have to reach over pull back and pull forward some of the young folks and I'm proud that Jason was able to do that and he didn't just jump right in it he came he thought about it he prayed about it he had the knowledge about being the council and I'm grateful for that and a lot of people have your support Jason again we may not always agree together but um, we have to talk about it another so that I can see where you're coming from and Jack can see where you're coming from and I can understand where you're coming from and understand where the um, mayor and Mr. Gonzalez is coming from it's okay we we have make funny faces and all that sort of stuff <laughs> and it's all right you know it makes me smile a little bit more so with that I'm going to say thank you so very very much God bless you have a nice uh, 2016 year Thank you, Ms. Tenney. Ms. Trueblood? Yes, it's just a happy new year to everyone, and looking forward to what 2016 will bring to this township, to this council, and for us to move on ahead forward. And it's always great to see in the beginning of a reorganization meeting, it starts off with an invocation and it ends with a benediction. That should be something every part of our lives. So I just thank everyone for coming out and looking forward to working for this year. Thank you. I'd like to wish everybody a happy and uh, blessed uh, 2016. Um, I'd like to thank the public for coming out to our annual reorg and first regular meeting. Um, in addition, I'd like to thank our new township auditor, Mr. Aloha. Um, wave your hand so everyone sees who you are. Uh, Aloha, thank you for thank you for attending. Moving on, um, I'd entertain a motion to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Reverend Trueblood, can you please come forward for the benediction? Motion to approve resolution number 35-2016, which will allow council to go into closed session. I'll make that motion, since I asked for it. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Amy, please pull the council. Mr. Tompkins? Yes. Mr. Trueblood? Yes. Ms. Denny? Yes. Ms. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Council will now go into closed session. Could you make a copy of this? There you are. We are back. There is no action pursuant 
to close session. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second. I see you, Ms. Waters. <laughs>